Yes, I know. They they truly are magical. I love them too. There's just something about evergreen trees. I don't know, I can't describe it, but they're very special. They just represent such power, you know. Pine trees, cedar trees. And to see throwing them out like a day after, it's it's so painful. It truly is. And the reason I didn't want to say this story because it, it is it's a sad story. I mean I wish I had a truck so I could grab all these trees and I don't know I don't know how you can you can't save them but you can reuse them. Um, they're needles, you can burn them to dry them, burn them to cleanse your home, your aura, the, uh, the energy of your house. But see, people don't, I don't know if because they don't know or they, maybe they don't know. Anyway, well, long story short, I went for a walk on December 26th because I love to walk. I can walk for hours and miles and kilometers. It was gorgeous. It was uh, snowy white. Everything was, trees were all covered with snow. It just looked, it looked like a scene from the movie Narnia. If you don't know, I don't know if you know Narnia. Narnia, it was just unbelievable. Um, I saw this man coming out of his house with this massive Christmas tree and he was he would grab the tree from the top, you know, you know where people put the star or the angel. And he grabbed it and he dragged it out of his house. And he, well it was heavy, so he somewhat threw it in front of his front yard grass. If you are like me, and you have a very vivid imagination. You tend to see stuff. Which no one is, by the way. <laughs> no one is like you. Nobody truly has your imagination or your mind. I think it's a good thing. Can you imagine? Can you just imagine? We had crazy foxes everywhere. <laughs> and uh, you're lucky you're not me. Because it can be a curse and a blessing at the same time. So the way this man was carrying the tree, to me it looked like he was carrying a human by the hair. Let's say a human has been beaten, grabbing it by the hair and dragging it and throwing it to the curb. And that really because I know it's a tree, but that tree was alive before. So I said, yeah, I said, excusez-moi, monsieur. He said, what do you mean? I said, uh, I mean, I understand it's December 26th, but don't you want to keep the tree for like at least another month? And then he said, well, who are you? I, I live in the neighborhood. I just, you know, I don't understand why would you want to throw the tree out? I mean, it's gorgeous. So he said, if you want it, take it. I said, I wouldn't take that because it has your energy in it and your family's energy. And I don't like it. Oh boy, you really are a firecracker. I must have. That must have made him mad. <laughs> He's offering you the tree. So he said, uh, why don't you get off my property before I call the cops? I said, I'm, I'm really not on your property. I mean, I'm on your sidewalk. You can do whatever you want. I just need to get the point out. He said, well, I'm not the only one. Don't you see all these trees on the grass? Mm -hmm. I said, oh, well, yes, you're right. It seems like you're not the only one. How tragic. Anyways, that really, that really was it. 
you know, I know it may not be the biggest deal for everyone. People who are not so interested in nature may not see this. But uh, to me, I think, you know, you're growing this, these massive, powerful trees. You're cutting them and you're selling them. And then you throw it out just like that. I mean, at least keep it for God's sake. For however many, whatever you can. 